Hey, Ron Carling. Okay. You may carpet, wood and laminate. We have some ceramic. I've been to all the receptacle outlets. I tested them with most of them with a gizmo like this, except for the laundry uh, high voltage. And we're getting power. The nearest I can tell, the nearest I can ascertain, we're getting power everywhere we're supposed to get power. These windows are double pane, vinyl frame. They all open fine. And I'm you know, just going to close them as I go. Kind of talk. I'm, I'm calling this the formal sitting area. I don't know if you can tell by the light coming through the windows or if I sound tired. This is my last video. You're seeing it pretty early in the report if you're watching in the order of the report as you should. Um, but this is my last video of the day. This is the hall closet where you got the game parts and the games and stuff. If we really don't have a coat closet. It's not really a coat closet. Uh, we do have a mudroom area, so this is where you would hang your, your coats. But this closet hasn't been finished out. We don't have a door installed here. So we've got smoke alarms just about everywhere we're supposed to have them. But we do not have smoke alarms in these front two rooms. I'm calling this the office study. Well, I'll just go ahead and get this one out of the way. And uh, we do not have a smoke alarm in this one. I'm calling that the formal sitting area. Um, and we do not have a, again, we do not have a smoke alarm in there. Notice that, you know, this is December, but uh, the sun's kind of low. And this is where the sun's going to shine on your television or your monitor. So you don't want to work something out, blacking out the windows or whatever. Like I said, double pane vinyl frame. We don't have smoke alarms in those. Coming along here. These are on one of the kitchen GFCI circuits, and I'm seeing that more often. And they're marked as being GFCI. And it's the fact that they're GFCI protected doesn't raise my attention, it doesn't concern me. It's, I'm not sure that you're supposed to share a kitchen circuit, and I'm seeing that more and more often. And um, I'm not sure you're supposed to share a kitchen circuit with another room in the house. Uh, the code's kind of ambiguous about it. Sometimes I read it, I think I'm reading that you're not supposed to. Sometimes I read it, and you know, I, I can't find my concern, honestly. And I'm going like, well, didn't I? You know, so I'll study it some more. Now, I'm not an engineer. I'm a home inspector. And I think home inspectors should stay in their lanes. Okay? But, you know, I do use some engineering equipment. And I do make some observations to try to make a determine. I, I have to make an opinion about the foundation. So I use some engineering. I use an uh, a AccuLevel. So... And I shoot the floor, pow, 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 dead jokes. And, you know, I do not calculate slope. I do not practice engineering. I do not calculate slope. I don't, I'm not talking about tolerances. I'm not talking about specs. I'm talking about guidelines. And the guidelines I use is no more than one inch of floor height elevation differential within 25 feet. And no more than two inches of floor height elevation differential overall. And I did not get one inch of floor height elevation within 25 feet. And I got 1.2 inches of floor height elevation differential overall. So this is, you know, does that make it stable? It doesn't make it stable. It makes it level. Floor measured, measured well. Like I said, this is the last, because of the light, as me being tired, you know, this is the last uh, video of the day. This is the time. When I like to say thank you, dear client. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for your business. Those things mean the world to my family and I. The cats certainly appreciate it. So,
is I close the windows and I go around. So if you think I did a pretty good job for you, then you know a good Google review uh, means a lot to a small businessman like me. So that, that would be nice. This door sticks in its jam. Alright. So the patio exterior door sticks in its jam. And really, there's a lot of finish. I see how the baseboard here is sticking around. See how they haven't really finished out in front of the fireplace. Fished around there. There's, there's a lot, there's some work to be done here for sure. And uh, the countertop. Countertop is not supposed to, according to the Marble Institute, this isn't marble, this is culture, but it's not supposed to extend farther out than 10 inches without a corbel. You know, sometimes they put, you know, slat braces underneath there. I've seen those. I wasn't here for that, but but we do not have any support underneath here. That's a sticker. But we don't have support underneath the edge, the ledge of the countertop. So I wouldn't be sitting on that. You know, I cut my corbel out and I made a swooping arc out of it. It had a big old ugly wooden corbel underneath there. I understand, you know, you're trying to put the chairs in and stuff, and you're bumping up against things. I understand all that. Just, just don't dance on this. Don't, you know. You get Uncle Bud, and he's all liquored up, and he he's at the you know Super Bowl party, and parks his big butt up on here, and it breaks and falls down, and everybody laughs. And then you start trying to figure out how, you know, what it's going to cost to fix that. You know, I hope he didn't hurt himself. Some of our flooring. It's coming out there a little bit. This is the primary bedroom suite. It's not 50 degrees outside. Okay, or just 50, 53 degrees right now. All right, and it's colder. So I wasn't able to run the air conditioning system. I wasn't able to run the air conditioning system because the breaker had been turned off. It had been decommissioned. It was turned off for a reason. Uh, I couldn't have collected any meaningful data you know, had I been able to turn on the air conditioner, but I would have uh, at least liked to bumped it, you know, see if it would respond to the thermostat. I can't hurt it that way. But I didn't. I wasn't even able to do that because it had been decommissioned for a reason. Now, it's 53 degrees outside, honestly. You know, I mean, I'm dressed kind of warm. I got a t-shirt on. I got flannel drawers. But uh, I wasn't able to operate the heater either. I wasn't able to operate the heater because the switch was turned off in the attic. A lot of times that's just a simple mistake, but the breaker was turned off for the water heater, for the condensing unit, so it had been decommissioned. People turn things off for a reason. I, as a professional, I expect things to be up and running and operable when I show up. You know, I just do, that's that. I'm not paid to, it's out of my wheelhouse. You can even say I'm not qualified to de-unwinterize a house or um, to um, you know, turn on appliances that have been turned off, mainly turned off. So we really weren't, the only thing we were able to do in regard to the HVAC system is to inspect it for installation. But we did not inspect it for performance and operation due to the fact that both systems have been decommissioned and also due to the fact of the low exterior ambient temperatures. That also limited what I was able to see in regard to the insulation uh, for water infiltration or insulation performance using thermal imaging because the temperature inside of the house is about the same as the temperature outside of the house. I don't remember testing this one. I try to get them all. And we got all these little ogres around here. Oh, I want to go back in here for a moment. It's kind of like the first place. I could have kept going, you know, but my ADT. And see something twice, see something else. See? See that? All right, but we, see that little screw? It's supposed to be turned. See that little screw? It's supposed to be turned around the other way and hold your clothes rod in place. Okay? And in some places, they don't even have the screw. So that's why I wanted to come in here because this is the only place I remember seeing screws. Okay, so those are supposed to. Uh, a word from our sponsor, Mr. Risk. Okay.
So, coming on along, our clothes are rises when I have the screws on them. Coming back through here, we got the kitchen area. The kitchen's open. And um, I had this open for a reason. Oh, I remember. Because, check this out. I can't open the cabinet doors. Right there. I can't open the cabinet floors. Doors. I can't open the cabinet doors. I can open the trash. You know, I can open these doors. You can kind of feel around for them. And maybe if you install pulls on these pull handles, maybe that would take care of it, but then you'd lose your clean contemporary look. So, you know, I don't feel any finger grooves underneath the drawer, so maybe maybe that is what's going to happen. Coming on along, I guess this would be like the middle of the bedroom and like the others. We're missing our screws there. And, uh, what's going on here? Okay. I did not test these plugs. You get to see my method. I know I didn't test them because I'm not shutting the windows. Well, that one's kind of stiff. Obviously we got some problems with it. They're holding this down with these stone so I'm not gonna be able to open and close this door like it would be this one they just have tape on that and glue these transition pieces down Hello, holes again I'm not gonna bore you too much longer one I almost through the house two these are the only two rooms that I didn't check the plugs on So, if you learned something from this video or it entertained you some kind of way, there's a like button right down there. Hook me up with some likes. I don't, I don't get very many of those. My people don't like, I guess, don't like my videos. But, again, you know, there's a like button right there. I'm not, I'm not bashful. And if you have insomnia or something like that, you can pretty much fix it by hitting the subscribe button right there. So, there we go. Just leave that right there, there. Again, I don't want to mess up these people's fine work. Moving through, moving through. Coming up this little hallway, see we're almost, we almost made the loop, man. Coming into the laundry, missing our door hardware. This is the door going into the garage. It's not, ex um, um, the spring tension has been reduced so that they can leave the door open and work, I guess. So, um, but our flooring hasn't. Flooring hasn't been finished here, so the flooring needs to be finished. Big old gap right there. If somebody was the master cocker was in here. And that's it. Last one of the video. Thank you again. Thank you for your business. Thank you for your trust. Like, subscribe.